Disclaimer. The following video is part of a playthrough that contains these heavy topics. Viewing it is at your own risk. And with this, your discretion is advised. Somehow the sea, this small seems very familiar. I flawlessly calculate the distance to create between Makoto and myself so as to not create an awkward situation and then take a seat. 30 centimeters. I don't really know about much about you, but I don't do want you to be able to find your answers. If interacting with me helps with that, then I'm willing to take my chances. <laughs> so, and I'm back. I'm not sure how reasonable it is to expect everybody who interacts with me to only do it because they want to be with me. The only thing I can say right now is that I think it's fun talking with you. And I don't think what you're saying a thing could be that bad. You're willing to take those chances? Even though you don't know anything about me? Yeah, maybe I'll end up accumulating enough bond levels to understand you. <laughs> what the heck? Fine, I'll concede for now. But don't come crying to me later when you inevitably get hurt. I eagerly be waiting. And I hope that you end up finding your answer. Thanks. I don't really know if this is what I'm looking for. I'm not sure if this current relationship is even right for me or Makudo. But I do know that I want to keep interacting with Makudo. Maybe it doesn't have to be any more complicated than that. Since you've been the one reaching out for excuses to hang out, let me be the one this time. Do you want to hang out tomorrow as well? I can already feel the embarrassment. She probably feels embarrassed as well. <laughs> you didn't even attach any excuse. You just straight up asked me if I wanted to spend time with you. Ahem. Let me rephrase this. <laughs> you just straight up asked me if I, if, if we go on, on a date again. I admire your boldness. But unfortunately, I actually have to get some stuff ready tomorrow. Oh, Well, that embarrassing moment ended up being for nothing. But I guess I can spare an hour or two tomorrow. Do you have any experience building computers? Yeah, I built my own. App! Being me! Good, come over to my place tomorrow. If you help me put the other graphics card in, then it'll save me some work. Yeah, your place? You mean, where you live? In your home? In your apartment? In the same building? In this? Hey, going to the room? You, you live? And going probably in your room? In your bedroom? Maybe? Maybe? Or living room? The, uh, I, I don't know. Where the computer is getting built. It's only I'm currently in the living room. Just for anybody asking. What do you f what what? Do you think I'm homeless or something? Yes, I mean where I live. Uh, are you fine with that? Don't make me take back what I said. Are you going to come or not? Also, building a computer with two people within an hour is uh, kind of... Yeah. But there's also the troubleshooting. Like, if there's something happening. Like, uh, for example, the OS doesn't boot. Or if you want to change a few things. Then try to put doesn't post because actually the thing you change they say the f a few things that you change I is actually not perfect or you just do other stuff that you don't. <laughs> I don't know what to say right now. We we'll continue what I what I want to say, but let's just say it takes a bit more than just one hour or two to build a computer. I mean alone, no, but to. With two people, man? Uh, yeah, I'll come. Cool, I'll see you tomorrow then. I'll message you my address and when you can come over. I'm going to head back now. Alright, see you tomorrow. Makoto gives me a smile before returning the way we came. 
the fish. Mako took gives me a smile before returning the way we came, retracting the footsteps still imprinted into the sand. Give a sigh as I look out at the ocean. This is so much harder than just watching a VTuber and relaxing. There are too many things I don't understand. I'm really struggling out here, Yukune. I hope you're happy. I give her a piece of my mind whenever she arrives. I can say it's all that bad though. Guess for now I'll head back home. I'm not used to walking around this much all day. Hmm. VTuber connect. Arrive at Makoto's home late afternoon the next day. I push the button at the gate to inform Makoto that I am outside. It doesn't take long for me to hear the front door open. Makoto walks out, hands in her pocket, hands in her pockets and opens the gate for me. Hey, you're here early. Are you looking f forward to this? I'm only a few minutes early. Most people wouldn't even call that being early. No need to make the excuses. I understand. Let's head inside. Huh? Ooh. It looks basic, but it's the good basic. It's quite as I walk through Makoto's house. Are your parents not home? I live here alone. My parents live somewhere else. Huh? That means you're here alone. So... No... So only the neighbors hear any kind of noise. I don't want to imply something here, by the way, just saying. Yes, are you expecting something to happen? Oh, stop making it weird. That's what I should be saying. Anyway, let's head up to my room. There isn't too much of anything in terms of furniture or decoration on the way to Makoto's room. Because she probably spends most of her time in her room. We make our way to the top floor. Makoto leads me to a room at the end of the hall and opens the door. I met with a fairly organized room. Ah, this? Okay, this looks actually really nice. Nice posters up there. This? Fukase? On the left there? The left poster there? And then some... I don't know. This looks like a cosplayer or model on the right there. On the top, I don't... Can't really that on, on the bottom. This looks like zero two. Then... Why is there a hockey wagi sitting out on the shelf there? By the way, I didn't. I expected anything else, but not a hockey wagi. I mean, the game came out in 2020. Two. 2022. So last year. But still, why hockey wagi? I met with. Um, there are various technologies such as a game console, like technology. Have <laughs> the sentences. There are various technologies such as a. There are various technologies such as game consoles, tablets, sound systems, and a large PC setup. Okay, I s I currently see a VR headset. I see a PC. I see two monitors. I see a ASMR mic. I see two. I see then a blue Yeti mic and a membrane mic. Like something that I have without the pop filter. Hmm. I also see some anime posters as well as some stuffed animals. Huggy Wuggy! <laughs> Thinking about it, this is my first time in a girl's room besides Yokunis, but I don't think this is what should normally be expected. I mean, you ask the girl out if they want, if you want to do something with her the next day. She said, yeah, sure, why don't you come to my place? It, it, it makes sense that you technically interact, that you go to a girl's room. Unless... And something else, but mm. 
It, it could be like 1 plus 1 equals 2. But it could be also 1 plus 2 equals 3. Never know. Wow, your room is surprisingly organized. I actually did a lot of cleaning before you got here. It was way messier than this. But look at that closet. No, we don't. I don't think my closet can handle any more of my junk. I had to move some of my stuff to another room. Okay, that joke with the with the closet. <laughs> I didn't expect that. <clears throat> but um okay. Makoto walks over to her PCs, already unplugged and detached from the rest of her setup. She picks on one of the computers along with a screwdriver and a box containing one of the graphics cards we bought the previous day and places the items in front of me. Here. Ha boy! This is my baby, so you better not break anything. Otherwise, that won't be the only thing leaving this house broken. Ow. Fearful for my life, I sit down and pick up the screwdriver and start gently unscrewing the side panel. And that is why my current PC doesn't have any screws to open the side panel. I just open the latch and it just... Oh. Hi. Makoto laughs as she sees me delicate labor and walks towards her desk to grab the other PC. She places it down beside me and gets started on her own work. I won't keep you here too long. I know you probably want to get home before Mana's karaoke stream. Wait, I completely forgot that it was that it was today. Oh, you forgot about Mana's stream? That's surprising. I'm about as surprised as you are. I guess I've been distracted recently. I wonder what's been distracting you. Oh, you know, just recently some girl wants to spend some time with me, so I've been running around to her whims. You aren't making this up? Can't imagine that happening. Yeah, you're right. It must have been... I must have been hallucinating. You should probably get that checked. It doesn't sound healthy. <laughs> well, ignoring your unsuccessful gaslighting, are you excited for her karaoke costume? Yeah, I'm always a fan of karaoke. And the songs that she picks are always great. She has great tasty music. Hey, great. I wonder what she'll be singing today. Probably some Vocaloid songs. Hmm. <clears throat> Probably. Are you excited for her anniversary stream? The little question show. Didn't you notice the ASMR mic? Or the membrane mic? Or the blue jetty? Or in general that she has three mics? The camera and the two monitors. That is that. That can be excused. Oh, I want to show you. Okay. Okay. Why any game consoles? I don't see any game consoles. I missed somewhere there in the background. Makoto is right now standing. I'm expecting it to be the greatest stream ever. I can't wait. Yeah, I'm sure it would be great. I wonder what kind of stuff she'll be doing. What do you think? Makoto has slowed down her mental movements. She remains silent, her body moving to the rhythm of her breaths. She seems to be taking deep breaths. Makoto? Oh, sorry. Are you okay? You seem out of breath. It's nothing. Makoto has slowed her hand movements to a halt. She doesn't seem to be paying attention to her task at hand anymore. She continues to take slow, deep breaths. Oh no, we have probably here uh, probably a scene where Shoma probably runs in the bathroom to get some medicine because Michael forgot to take her medicine for that that because she has an illness that. That she has for some time, and well, <clears throat> are you sure you don't seem fine? It's okay, you don't have to worry about me. This again, the ends of showing and restraining concern for each other. Normally, I, I try to respect her wishes, but this doesn't seem like a situation where I should just ignore what's going on. Here, let me finish with that for you. I'm just about finished with this computer anyway. You should get yourself a glass of water or something. Thanks. Michael Makoto gets up at Nexus too. I wonder what that was. Hmm. 
Hmm. You have problems with anxiety? I only mentioned Mana's upcoming anniversary stream. If you do put one plus one together, you get two. But with a show mask guarantee situation, we have one plus one, one plus plus one, one plus one, one plus one, one plus. Oh, actually, point, point, something, point, something, point, something equals two. Maybe that's somehow related. Are you a dense butterfly shop? I think you're a dense butterfly shop. Makoto enters the room again with a glass of water in hand. She makes her way to her chair and sits down. Sorry about that. I can take over now if you want. That's okay, I'm almost done here. After feeling the click of the motherboard mount, after pushing the graphics card in, I start screwing this card into place. Makoto sits quietly in her chair, watching me work. Did I say something I shouldn't have said? No, it wasn't your fault. Just something I've been feeling anxious about. I'll manage. Is it anything I can help with? This mu this background music has some bittersweet tones. And I'm kinda scared. Hmm. <clears throat> well, technically you're already helping with it. Both by being here and by doing that work. So thanks, and also thanks for the concern, but it really isn't something worth worrying about. Not entirely, entirely convinced. I finished screwing the side panel back onto the PC. Hey, if there's anything you're going through that even I can help with, don't feel bad. I won't ask me. Don't think of it as being a par, of it as being a parasite or me showing unnecessary concern. Just think of it as. Continued repayment for the debt I owe you for that postcard. Makoto just stares at me blankly. Okay, yeah, that wasn't the most convincing from me. I'll admit. But I can't uh, think of any other way to try and help you without making you feel like you're just taking from me. Makoto stares at me for another few seconds, then starts laughing. <laughs> what was that? That wasn't convincing at all. But thanks. I hope that one day I'll become someone worthy of a concern. Makoto walks over to me and picks up the PC Hop-oink! in front of me. She takes it back to her desk and starts plugging in her peripherals. By the way, is this your first time in the girls' room? Of course not. Family members don't count. By the way, is this the first time you've let the guy in your room? <laughs> Don't redirect the question back to me. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, it is. Oh, I see. What about your answer? What answer? You know exactly what answer. I said this was the first time you've let the guy in your room. Oh, that. I'm not obligated to answer. I gave my answer. You should give your answer. So do your thing now. What? But I answered your question. What are you? 12? We aren't taking turns here. I can choose to answer what I want. I'm going to take your reluctant... Reluctance to answer as a yes. Is this assumptions only rock a path of ignorance? Hey, a path of ignorance doesn't sound too bad. Staying within the comfort of your own bubble and not having to deal with the pains that exist outside that world sign me up isn't it just taking the easy way out it is you might never know what could have been but you avoid getting hurt you don't have to deal with the uncertainties anxieties and other hardships of taking a step outside don't you feel that way sometimes that you would rather take the easy way out all the time But I'm not the type of person to stay content with that fate. Not when I know there's something out there that I want. Would you really be okay with staying ignorant when you know that deep inside it is, is that it isn't what you're truly looking for? 
To stay withdrawn and avoid taking any steps forward because I'm afraid of getting hurt is just something I wouldn't be able to settle for. I know that it's the easy way out to just stay withdrawn within your own world, but I'm, I'm inclined to say that it's not even cowardly to do that. It might even be the most logical thing to do. But I refuse to resign myself to such a miserable fate. I'm going to take a hold of that opportunity and try to find what I'm looking for. Even if it means getting hurt. Even if it means that I might not even find what I'm looking for. Because to me, remaining stagnant is akin to accepting the hand that was dealt to you and never fighting back. Like this was the fate that I was assigned and that I should just accept it. This phrase sounds too familiar again. But I'm the one who determines my own fate. You really are amazing, Makoto. Huh? I'm really not. I don't think I would ever have the strength to take that step forward myself. I'm just the type of person to have others to do it for me. Even though I know it's something I have to accomplish with my own strength. That's why I think you're amazing. I'm really not the person you think I am. Even though I just gave that whole spiel about determining my own fate, reality is a whole different beast. But I'll still accept your compliment. Consider that to be plus one bond level with me. Is that still out of a thousand? Well, this is progress. Yep, you're at bond level seven now. Wait, that's lower than before. I can't help but laugh with Makoto. It really is weird how I'm not nervous in this situation. I'm with Makoto in her own room. Not to mention, we're both in college. This isn't what I would imagine how that scenario would typically go. Yep. But it's a nice one. I probably shouldn't be thinking like that. I'm going to start having weird expectations. You're thinking about porn, don't you? <clears throat> what? What guy wouldn't have those kinds of thoughts in his situation? Any, well, every heterosexual guy would. Or bisexual. No. Mm. Okay, now I'm starting to make myself nervous. <laughs> Stop me! Clear your mind of any impure thoughts! You are a clear mirror that reflects still waters! <laughs> yeah, you can't... You can't... Repress inner... The, hu the human mind... Of reproduction... I don't know... My brain just stopped thinking for this moment there. I look over to Makoto and catch her staring at me with a smile. Our eyes meet and it feels like that world stops for a moment. Oh? Maybe it was because of the moon. But Makoto turns her head away, not letting me catch a glimpse of her expression. I also turn my head away in embarrassment. Dear mirror, still water, dear mirror, still water. Ah, my heart is beating too fast right now. Oh, somebody catch the feels. Damn it, stop being endearing, Makoto. Why did you have to be cute there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are in this part of the game now. Okay. <laughs> Didn't expect that. But I had the same idea. Now it's awkward. I could only hear the beating of my heart and the silence that followed. I can't over Makoto to see that she's still looking away. Suddenly, her head perks up. Wait, what time is this? Is it? Makoto picks up her phone to look at the time. Shit, it's almost time for Mana's stream. Should probably get going. Honestly, I don't mind missing out on it. I could always look back at the ward. Yeah. Makoto looks at me, just as surprised as I am at what I said. Wait, why did I just say that? I'm basically telling her that I want to stay here. And what's gotten into me? I usually never miss out in, on Mana's stream. Am I really deciding to stay here with Makoto over missing out on Mana's death stream before her anniversary? I'm flattered that you want to stay with me that badly. 
But I have some obligations, so you're going to have to go home for the day. Oh, all right. Don't be too disappointed. I'll message you later tonight. Now get going. You can make it home before the stream starts. Yeah, I think I'll be able to make it. Thanks for having me over today. I'll talk to you later. Bye. I navigate my way out of Makoto's house and find that it's already becoming dark outside. I did not do a good job at hiding my disappointment, did I? She's probably going to hold that over me later by teasing me. Maybe. I glance at the window of Makoto's room on the second floor before releasing a quick sigh. I start walking back home, thinking back on the events today. The sounds of insects and distant cars fill the air as I arrive at the door to my apartment. Just in time for my stream to start. I reach into my pockets to pull out my keys only to feel the softness of fabric. I check my outer pockets on the off chance I had decided to put my keys in a different location. Did I really leave the keys to my apartment at Michael's place? Oh no, okay. You already do this way, this way. Okay, time to reveal who is Mana. Gah. I was too distracted by what happened towards the end and I was in a bit of a rush to get back to, so I wouldn't miss Mana's stream. I don't think I really have a cherries at this point. I have to walk back to Makoto's place and watch Mana's stream on my phone in the meantime. Give another big sigh before heading back. The direction came. What am I even doing? It's not the idea, but turning in from from my phone will have to do. That being said, she's taking a bit to transition from her intro screen. Come, Mana! It's your shining star in the night sky, Mana Orion. Sorry about the delay. I got occupied by something and didn't have that much time to prepare. Hmm. You guys probably don't mind though, not like you have anything better to do with your time. <laughs> Let's just get started. I just feel like singing my heart out tonight. First up we got one of my favorites. The sounds of the powerful electrical instrument fill the air around me. Oh, this is one of Mana's favorite vocaloid songs. I guess I got was right. Mana's voice enters with a soft and steady tone. The lyrics are about wanting to become someone like you. While at the same time wanting to become someone that feels very me. I, I know the name of the song. You who's like me who's like you. I think it's the song name. It could be, it could be something else. I, I, I don't know the thing. Did, did it really, did. I have forgotten the name right now. But I know it is something like that. Isn't that contradictory? I guess not if the you is referring to someone that's also myself. I guess even the song asks, but then would that really be me? It so sort of reminds me of my conversation with Margato. Mana builds a steady crescendo as the song approaches the chorus. Her voice is in perfect harmony with the feelings of resignation from the song. As Mana delivers the chorus, I can feel my phone lightly reverberate from the power of Mana's voice. The lyrics are about how they wait the one is. They are better off dread. But they wish that the world was so that everybody hated them and rejoiced if they were to disappear. That way all the reasons for wanting to say goodbye would go away. The song itself sounds really pleasing to the ear, but the lyrics are nothing so short of harrowing. If you're happy, you enjoy the, the melody. But if you're sad, you understand the lyrics. I wonder how much the meaning of this song plays into this being one of Mana's favorites. But this song isn't necessary without any hope either. I wonder that these lyrics are directed towards someone that is able to smile at the singer's existence. Because of that, the singer cannot bring themselves to disappear. Does having just one person make that much of a difference? I continue to walk down the path back to Makoto's place. I start to see Michael's house in the distance. It's faint, but I can see that some lights are still on. 